Hello everyone, welcome back to Super Jerry 27's Nerd Cave, where I talk about video games, comic books, social commentary, occasionally video game news if my days off hit just right, the occasional action figure, comic books, if I didn't already say that, Pong, ah, uh, but yes, so real quick, about 70% of you who are viewing me right now are su not subscribed, so if you could subscribe, I would appreciate that, make my day, make your day, hit the little bell, be notified when my bald ass is talking about Shit that really doesn't matter. But you're not here to talk about that. You're here to talk about the Xbox Games Showcase. Yay! And these are five games that uh, make me excited to own an Xbox Series X and to still be supporting uh, Microsoft. So I'm going to do them in kind of an order, but not really. The first one is going to be Avowed. Obsidian is one of my favorite RPG creators. I loved Knights of the Old Republic 2. I loved uh, Fallout New Vegas. I loved Pententa Pententa Pententament. Just, they do great shit. Um, and Avowed is basically their take on Skyrim, it looks like, and I think it's going to be amazing. I, I, I am yet to be let down by Obsidian. So that is a day one purchase, and it had better be physical, or I'm going to be kind of pissy. Not gonna lie, I like my games on disc. Like I like food not to be fucking 3D printed. You know what I'm just saying? So avowed, definitely picking that bad boy up. Now the next ones I'm just gonna go wishy-washy. Unfortunately, all of these uh, release in 2025. And it looks like the year of 2025 is gonna be the year of the prequel because Doom Dark Ages takes place before Doom 2016. We get to meet Doom Guy before... He goes to hell and all this fucking amazing shit. It looks awesome. You have a fucking shield that you rev up. Oh, it takes place the chainsaw, but you rev it up. You fucking throw it like Captain Motherfucking America. That's the Captain America game I want. But oh god, it looks fucking fun. It looks fun. I gotta, I gotta uh, dust off my Doom skills and play 16 and Eternal again. But uh, id Software is bringing the heat in 2025, and I cannot wait to play that. I don't think Doom, Do Doom Guy has been touched by Soy or Sweet Baby Inc. or any DEI bullshit, and it's going to be amazing. The other prequel that's coming out, I'm assuming it's from the Coalition. It, that was not in the trailer, but that is Gears of War E-Day, uh, which, if you don't know, that's Emergence Day. So this is the, the first time... Marcus and Dom and Coltrane are meeting the grubs. You know, they're seeing what the fuck's happening. And that's really exciting to me. Because you don't really know. You When you hit Gears of War, the first one on the Xbox 360, you're just in the shit. Fighting them. Getting, the, getting that, that fucking hammerhead dude on the train that was a pain in the ass to beat. But, super excited. Like, I like Gears of War. I beat Gears of War 5 very recently and I enjoyed the hell out of it. I know it's not as great as the originals from Cliff Blazinski, but he has jumped off a fucking ledge and he's making comic books about fucking dogs right now with a murderer, so I don't know about that one. But uh, Gears of War E-Day is definitely... I'm watching you. This trailer started for Adam Fall, and I really thought that Rebellion had gone out of business. Like, I saw their logo, I'm like, they gone out of business? No, dumbass. They made the Zombie Army games, which were awesome. I played through Zombie Army... Zombie... <laughs> I played through Zombie Om Army 4 with my buddy during the first, you know, you know, the first two weeks of two weeks to flatten the curve on COVID. Had a blast. The game design was great. The story was fun. Controls were tight. The levels were not stupid and you didn't get lost in them. So I'm very excited to see what Adam Fall brings. Once again, I have to wait over six months to play the game, but I'm really hoping it's a single player experience. As much fun as I have playing with buddies and whatnot, I like to play alone because, shit, life is busy. You can't get your friends from fucking, you know, all over the country to come play anymore because they all have lives. I don't, but what the fuck, you know? And then finally, I kind of like it that the past uh, five, six years have been about feudal Japan, except fuck you, Assassin's Creed Shadows. But uh, Wu Chang Fallen Feathers looks fucking fun. Oh my god, playing as a good looking Asian lady, fucking up demons, a guy with that weird muscle in the back of his fucking head, and she's not a Mary Sue because she almost loses an arm, 
and then shit grows out of her fucking arm. It's like, ooh, this looks interesting to me, especially if it's, like, made by Japanese or, or uh, Chinese or Korean developers and it has lore in it. I love to learn about other country countries and, and cultures. It's fun as fuck. Uh, so that looks very interesting. Hope it's not really Souls-like. Not the best that Souls-like. I struggle through Souls-like. But I really don't want to break any controllers while playing Wu Chang Fallen Feathers. They will come out in six months or more. So, what did you think about the Xbox uh, Games Pass game showcase? Uh, I thought it was okay. There are five games that everyone was probably looking forward to that I'm just kind of like, ooh. 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 No. So, uh, we'll see. I might do a video on that. Because there are five games that everyone's excited for except my happy ass. Just because I don't like what's going on in the game industry. Sorry, you don't need people to tell you what to do to hit little check marks and to get likes on social media. You just make, need to make a good game with a good story. If you write a good game and a good story, then you can plop in all the diversity you want because we care about the character. Do you understand that? Do you get that? If you, if you can wrap your fucking head around it, you'll get it. Play the quarry. Perfect example of what I'm talking about. Supermassive Games wrote a game. Then they plopped in characters that had certain characteristics, but it, the characteristics were not their personality. Play the quarry. It's a great game. But uh, what are you looking forward to? What would you like? What are you disappointed in? What are you going to buy for day one? Avowed for me, baby. Avowed for me. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yeah.